think it's gonna shock anyone watching this video if I say that the old faithful USB-A port is kind of old hat at this point. The wild west of USB-C ports is where the real action is. And between Thunderbolt and USB-4, there's a lot to cover. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha, and today we're talking about the two biggest connectivity standards that you need to know, Thunderbolt and USB-4. Both use the USB-C connector, have fast 40 gigabit per second speeds, and will support both video and power pass-through. Because of these similarities, it may be easy to confuse the two, but they are in fact different, and those differences could make or break your setup depending on what you need. The USB standard has been around for a bit now, and USB 4 is the latest open USB standard. USB 4 version 1.0 supports DisplayPort 1.4a up to 8K at 30 hertz. USB 4 version 2.0 supports DisplayPort 2.1 up to 16K at 60 hertz, and is even speedy enough to support external GPUs and other accessories with up to 100 watts of power delivery. USB 4 is an open standard and enjoys broad support from basically every manufacturer out there, as well as contemporary operating systems, so compatibility is not an issue. It's also backwards compatible with USB 3.2 and even 2.0 if you have a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Now, the cautionary tale with USB 4 is that while it's capable of everything I just mentioned, some lower-priced, more basic USB 4 implementations may only support the minimums. 20 gigabits per second speeds, and 7.5 watts of power delivery. So not all USB 4 are created equal. Be sure to look for a 20 or a 40 in the specs to have a better idea of which USB 4 you might be getting. Okay, now on to Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 4 was released in 2020 and is now widely adopted on modern Intel and Apple devices, with Thunderbolt 5 beginning to appear in higher-end devices. For the purposes of today's discussion, we'll focus on the more commonly seen Thunderbolt 4. Thunderbolt 4 supports USB 4 and PCIe Gen 3, in addition to supporting 40 gigabit per second bandwidth, DisplayPort 1.4, and 100 watt power delivery like USB 4, Thunderbolt can also support dual monitors. Another important benefit to Thunderbolt over USB 4 is in the cable length supported. Thunderbolt 4 cables can support top speeds over 2 meters, while USB 4 can only support top speeds over 1 meter, limiting speeds if the cable is longer than that. You can tell the difference in the cables by the logo, Lightning Bolt or USB 20 or 40. Now, just like USB 4, Thunderbolt 4 has minimum implementations for more budget devices as well. Thunderbolt 4's minimum speed requirement is 32 gigabit per second, and minimum power delivery is 15 watts. So, while offering similar high-end capabilities, a budget Thunderbolt 4 will outperform a budget USB 4 port. It's important to note that the next generation of both of these standards is always on the horizon, or in some cases already here. At the time of recording this video, USB 4 version 2.0 is still being rolled out and not yet widespread, though its increased bandwidth of 80 gigabit per second will certainly make it attractive. Thunderbolt 5 offers significant improvements in speed, 80 gigabit per second, power delivery, 140 to 240 watts, and support for PCIe 4 and triple displays. So which is right for you? If you need dual displays or high speeds at long cable lengths, Thunderbolt is the way to go. If you're shopping on a budget, USB 4 may be cheaper than Thunderbolt 4 because of the lower minimum requirements. Many new laptops support USB 4, but not all use it to its full capacity or offer Thunderbolt compatibility. Have you upgraded to Thunderbolt 5 or USB 4 2.0? What do you make of their upgraded features? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with future DIY in 5 tech tips. See you next time.